In this video, we're going to go over how to install, use, and configure MOBA Xterm. Go to the download page for MOBA Xterm and click the installer version. Save it, and I'm going to save it to the desktop so we can see it, and click save. Let's get rid of this and close. And here's the zip file. Right click and choose extract all and extract. And now click the installer. We're going to pick all of the defaults for the installer. So click next. Read the license agreement and accept the terms, click Next. Let that be the default install folder, click Next and install. We're gonna see an icon pop up on the screen for MOBA Xterm and let's delete the zip file. Click on the MOBA Xterm icon to start MOBA Xterm. When MOBA Xterm opens, you may get a pop-up about allowing public access, and I'm just going to hit cancel for that. Click Start Local Terminal. This will start the MOBA X Terminal, and I'm going to move the window a little bit to make this easier to see. Let's go up and expand the screen. To log in to Henry2, type SSH, your Unity ID at login.hpc.ncsu.edu, enter your password, accept the duo notification, and then we're logged in. After clicking on Start Local Terminal, the terminal will be a tab embedded in the MOBA Xterm window. Click on the plus sign in the tab area to open more terminals. You can choose to have a split screen of two or more windows. And if you would like an individual free floating terminal, you may drag a terminal out of the MOBA Xterm window. You can also reattach the terminals. I'm on the Windows computer. Here is MOBA Xterm, and we are in the home directory called slash home slash MOBA Xterm. There's some stuff in it. Those are folders that MOBA Xterm puts in there. So now I'm on, I can see the desktop, and here are my files. And if I go here to desktop, it says that I have Microsoft Edge on the desktop. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't see MOBA Xterm, but it doesn't. So that's the desktop. The root folder is this Windows 10 base. I'm actually on the VCL, it's a virtual machine. And the local disk is called C. So all the Windows machines, this local disk is called C. On MOBA X term, it is equivalent to drives. Drives. So drives is this C. This C is this C, so let's click on the C, and then let's CD into drive C and LS. So you can see you can see extra stuff when you are in the command line, but here's the program files and the x87, and these things are here, here's SIGWIN. So this drive C is equivalent to this drive C. Clear this, let me clear the screen. So let's cd back to the home MOBA Xterm. Where is home MOBA Xterm on your computer? Well, it's actually located in Documents, MOBA Xterm, Home. And so let's confirm that. Let's make a file. Okay, so I've made a file, file.txt, and if I go here, there is the file, and it contains hello. So 
PWD, Home MOBA X term, and this is your home directory on here. This corresponds to documents, MOBA X term, home. So if that's not convenient, let's change it to something else. How do you change it to something else? Let me clear the screen. Go to settings, configuration, persistent home directory. This is what we're going to set. So I'll click on this. And you can see now there's the documents, MOBA X term, home. That's where, that's where we are right now. I'm going to put it on the desktop, just like when we installed it. It just makes it easier for me to find it. I'm going to create a folder. Let's call it HPC. Okay. And look over here. It made it on the desktop. There is the folder. We have to restart it in order for it to remember that, to change all the settings. Okay, so now MOBA X term is restarting. There it is. Start local terminal, PWD, and LS. So it did stick in folders there. So you saw the HPC was empty. Now it has stuff in it. Let's go to this. Here's the desktop. Now the desktop, see there's the HPC, and these are the default folders. So let's do the same thing. Let's make a file, hello, and file.txt, and there it is here, and there it is here. For MOBA X term, by default, when you log into a remote system, X11 forwarding is enabled. Click Start Local Terminal, and we're going to show this by logging into Henry2. Type SSH, your Unity ID at login.hbc.ntsu.edu. Enter the password and the duo, and here we're logged in. There's a little application called XIs. And so I'm going to, I put it in a module called apps. So I'm going to load that. And so open X eyes and it opens a pair of eyes on the terminal. Now what happens if I turn off X server forwarding and turn that off? Are you sure? Yes. Let me type X eyes again and I get an error message. Connection refused. It will not allow me to open a window. So let's turn it back on. And we'll type X eyes. And there it is. It worked. That's all about MOBA X term. Thank you very much. And see you next time.